Welcome to Under Grace Devotional Hour with Pastor Sharon Reyes. Thank you, Pastor Stephanie. Thank you for joining us today at Under Grace Ministries. It's a privilege to share what's on my heart with you each week. My prayer, as well as Pastor Stephanie's, is that these devotions enlighten, edify, and encourage you so that a foundation is being built and that you are strengthened by the Holy Spirit, drawing closer to the Lord Jesus with a deeper knowledge of the one who truly loves you and enter into his rest. Let's open our hearts to the Lord and hear what is spoken today and consider with the Holy Spirit what he is saying to each one of us personally. Let's pray. Father, your word is a sweet melody from your heart to ours. In Psalms 95, as it is written, O Lord, let us sing to you. Let us make the joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into your presence with thanksgiving, and let us make a joyful noise to you with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. And in your hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are yours also. The sea is yours and you made it and your hands have formed the dry land. O Lord, let us worship and bow down and let us kneel before you, Lord, our maker, Christ Jesus, our Lord and King. Amen. Well, last week we spoke about worship. Worship is bow down, to bow down, adoration, a deep love and respect to God, honoring who he is and all he has done. It's an attitude of spirit that flows from our inner being, a heart bent with honor and gratitude. We discussed last week how worship is an offering of ourselves as a living sacrifice, worshiping in spirit and truth. Worship in seasons of hardship and trials and how the sacrifice of praise is carry us through and that we are touched in a deeper place within us by the Lord in those seasons. Also, we were created to worship, to minister unto the Lord, and how in this we are honoring Him. Worship brings us into oneness with the Lord, the lover of our soul. In times of worship, however, you're led to worship you're the way that the Lord created you to. There are intimate moments that only you and the Lord can share. No one else can have your relationship with Him. He offers a unique love line just for you. We are all created to have this unique oneness with our Father and King, and He is willing to meet us just where we are at. There is no depth that He has not gone to draw us, draw us to Him. He knows exactly where you are, and in those wonderful moments of worship, the Lord touches our hearts, and our response is to touch His by blessing Him and praising Him. We worship God when we seek to grow more and more in the knowledge of Him. We become more aware of His presence. It's a desire that He plants in us to know His love more and more. And it starts with faith. It's not feelings. Those will eventually catch up. This is our relationship with Him, our garden walk, hand in hand. <clears throat> As the old hymn goes, And He walks with me, and He talks with me and he tells me I am his own, and the joy that we share as we tarry there, none other, none other has ever known. He blesses us, and we bless him. It's an endless current, a bond flowing from heaven's throne to our hearts and back to his. It's like a golden cord that's unbreakable. And as you grow in worship, in spirit, in truth, the deepness of his love brings a faith that only you want more and more of him and nothing else. It isn't about works. It's a place that allows the Holy Spirit to work in us and through us. I believe transactions occur. It's the heart that seeks him. Worship brings you into the sweet honeycomb of his presence. The Lord is approachable, a loving father with open arms, to all those who believe. He is our dwelling place, a safe place, a refuge, and his presence is like no other. 
his kindness and his gentle whispers of, I love you. I delight in you. I see no spot in you. His word is alive and it becomes your life. Proverbs 8.17 shows us that he loves to reveal himself to us. He, he says, I love those who love me, and when you seek me, you will find me. Worshiping the Lord by enjoying the precious gifts he has entrusted to us and even in our lives. Well, this was just recently made fresh to me. While praying for a young woman, the Lord spoke to my spirit to encourage her that when you do unto the least of these, you do unto me. When you enjoy your children, you are worshiping me for the gift that I have entrusted to you. Well, this brought this young mother to a place of wonder. She had never thought of herself being a mother in this way. Honestly, I had neither myself. And next day, in my quiet time, the Lord said to me, it isn't just for young mothers. Your children will always be a gift from me, no matter how old they are. And when you enjoy them in this way, seeing them as my workmanship, no matter where they are in life, you are honoring me. It's a form of worship. Worshiping the Lord brings healing and restoring to our souls and quiets our minds. We offer our worship in many ways. There are no rules we are all created uniquely to worship as he designed us to. Worshiping the Lord can be in songs and hymns, dancing, even art. Worshiping can be in declaring his word. Speaking his word causes faith to rise in our hearts. Faith comes by hearing and by the hearing the word of God, Romans 10, 17. Worshiping doesn't mean we need to be on our knees all day. We can be changing diapers, making dinner, even changing the oil in the car. The Lord is our constant companion and he delights to hear the praises of his children. Worship can be done while getting quiet with the Lord, thinking on him, listening to worship music and allowing the Holy Spirit to calm our spirits. We can even fall asleep. The Lord can minister to a resting heart and refresh the soul with sweet encounters aware of them or not. I was at a retreat just recently and was given a word, rest, and a picture of how that looks. Well, in my heart, I saw the Lord and me as a young child lying in a hammock, swinging back and forth so peacefully. The Lord ministers to our heart by the Holy Spirit, and in those times of sweet moments, we can rest and enjoy him and adore him with praises. Our hearts respond to the word that comforts us, his sweetness that surrounds us and sets us free in his truth, and we find rest and peace. The Holy Spirit can and uses these moments to bring healing in our hearts and in our emotions. They're moments that are unexplainable. It can be just a simple word in worship that only the Lord knows that it will bring healing, restoration, or even a remembrance that he's always with you. Worship can be in a form of dance, prayer. Worship can be thinking on his attributes, his characters, how gracious, how awesome, how mighty, how powerful, how gentle, loving, and merciful that he is. We can worship in remembering the answers to prayers, that he has given us and also the ones we believe the faith in faith that they are coming all worship brings delight to him worship is also known in the word as a weapon of warfare and it builds a shield about us the lord tells us his truth is our shield and buckler praise is a spiritual weapon of warfare we can see this in first samuel 16 when saul felt depressed and overwhelmed with torturing thoughts, he listened to David uh, play music and sing songs, and it lifted, it uplifted him. When we are being overwhelmed with our thoughts, giving, we give them to Jesus, we put on our favorite worship music, 
even especially when we don't want to sing or worship. This is a weapon of warfare, and the enemy of our soul hates it. In Acts 16, 25, and 26, we see freedom in worship. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there, be, there came a great earthquake. So the foundations of the prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. The power of worship breaks chains holding on our hearts. A letting go of all that holds us down. In faith, we can know the chains are falling off. Even walls fell at the sound of the trumpet when the Lord directed Joshua to, to march around the walls of Jericho. In Joshua 6, the whole city was given to them. In worship, walls that keep us from our inheritance fall down, and we are free to go into the city of truth, hope, peace, and joy, even when everything around us is falling apart. Well, in closing today, worshiping our God and King's Jesus, we can see this gift of worship in, in spirit and truth not only honors and exalts the Lord, but aligns us in a position for the Lord to mold our hearts, work more faith to rise within us. The benefits of praise and worship are bringing healing to our spirits, our minds, and emotions, and most of all into the presence, the presence of the Most High God. Jesus Christ himself. I pray that you are drawn to a new place of worship with the Lord, knowing that in him we live and move and have our being. Let's pray. We praise you, Father, for your grace and mercy. We praise you for your perfect love, Lord, and the love of your Holy Son, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of faith to believe and trust you. We thank you, Lord, and adore you, and long to be a pleasing aroma to you. Thank you, Lord, for your sovereign hand and your outstretched arm that surrounds us as a fortress. Fill our hearts continually with praises from our lips, and overflow us, Holy Spirit, with deeper desires to praise and worship in spirit and truth. Lead us on your path of righteousness with songs and hymns to you, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for restoring our souls and healing our wounds. Thank you, Lord, for our chains are broken and we are free in you. We worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All glory, honor, and power are yours. Your mercy and love endures forever. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us here at Under Grace Ministries. We pray that you are touched by the Holy Spirit and the Word of Truth, growing to know who you are in Christ with all the rich blessings that flow to you for his glory. May the Holy Spirit fill your hearts with boldness, courage, and strength and power to trust and to serve the Lord. May you be filled with him, enjoying him, grow to rest in him as the beloved in Christ Jesus. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God bless. Back into all.